Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial will provide you an introduction to the Java class. Let's go ahead and pull up my website here. www.javacjava.com Click on Begin. Scroll down here to class introduction. And so basically at this point in time, if you've been following my playlist, you've probably got a pretty good grasp on some of the core concepts of Java. So now I feel is, is probably a good time to go ahead and introduce you to um, what's called object-oriented programming, right? And so for my tutorials from here on out, I'm gonna do a little mix of talking about object-oriented programming um, classes and stuff like that and also I'm going to touch on, on concepts and things regarding the core language too so a little mix and match here from here on out so what is a class well the truth is that there is no easy way to explain what a class is to someone who is learning the language with that being said technically a class is a template or a blueprint from which objects are created okay what is an object? Well, an object is an instance of a class. Confused? You should be. It's one of those catch-22 situations. You need to understand what a class is to understand an object, and you need to understand what an object is to understand a class. Now, don't give up just yet. I promise with a little, with that with a little time it will all make sense. So throughout the tutorials we've created many classes, and the one thing they all have in common is the main method. Now without that special main method, the class has no entry point. If we invoke or run a class with no main, main method uh, using the Java command line tool, uh, we get an error. And let's go ahead and do just that and we will build on some more concepts. So normally I'd have you come down here and copy and paste this, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to move this off site here. We'll just type in everything as we go here. And I'll just talk as we go. So we'll go down to start search, type in CMD to open up the command prompt. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier and go to start run, type in CMD. First thing we're going to do is type in Java C, which is the Java compiler runtime command. We'll press enter on that. You should see a bunch of stuff scroll down. Now if you don't see a bunch of stuff scroll down, then you need to go ahead and stop this tutorial and go to my tutorial on installing the Java development kit and make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing on with the tutorial. I'm going to type in CLS to clear the screen. Type in CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory. Backslash will take you to the root. We're going to type make directory MD for short, Java. I already have it, but if you didn't, it would go ahead and create it. Then we'll do CD Java to change directories to the Java folder. And we're going to do a make directory and we'll call this class intro. And we'll do a CD class intro. And we're going to type in notepad class intro.java. Class intro.java is going to be our source code file name. And we'll press enter. Okay, so let's talk about the bare bones of a class. We just need to use the Java keyword class. And then we're going to do our class declaration next. And we're going to call that class intro. Then we need our opening brace and our closing brace. So this is our code block for the class. And that's really all we need, right? Um, at this point, uh, this is an empty class. Um, and it's completely legal. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, clear our screen off. I saved it there. We'll type in Java C, which is the Java compiler, and class intro.java. It's the name of our file, source file, otherwise, otherwise known as our compilation unit. And when we press enter, it goes ahead and compiles it. Now, if we type in dir, which is short for directory, we can see we have two files here. We have our class intro.java, and we have our class intro.class. The dot class file contains all of the Java bytecode, which is the um, basically all the instructional code for the class there okay so it went ahead and created it so this is perfectly valid this is like the the bare necessities of creating a class here completely legal now um however if we try to um 
invoke this class using the Java command line tool, we're going to get an error. And the reason why we're going to get an error is because we don't have any sort of entry point in this class. So let's go ahead and let's clear our screen off again. Uh, we'll type in, we'll do the Java C, which is a Java compiler, right? We compiled that. And we, as you can see, if we do a directory again, you know, we've got both of our classes here, both date and time stamp at the same time. Now if we type in Java and we do class intro here, Here's where we're in our error. Main method was not found in class intro. Please define the main method as public static void main string. And then you've got these two, oh geez, what are those technical terms for those brackets, right? So you got the opening and closing bracket and then args. Now that opening and closing bracket can be after the args too. And I kind of like it better after the args. I'll tell you why a lot of people do have that preference too as well. And there's logical reasons for that or Java FX application must extend Java, blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about this or Java FX application yet. So it's basically telling us, I don't have an entry point. I can't, I can't do anything. By, by calling Java and then passing the class that we want to invoke or run, right? There's nothing to run. So it's saying we can't do anything. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out here and let's put it in. Static void main. I like it better like this. Yeah. Type today, that would help. Okay, so now we've got our entry point there, okay? So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, um, I'm just put one comment in here, right? This does nothing at this point, right? But it will compile. Let's do, uh, We'll compile and we can invoke right okay let's go ahead and save that recompile it let's go ahead and run it you can see nothing appeared on the screen but it did in fact run it came in found me found the entry method and we did nothing and it just simply returned and the program is over with. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about, let's go ahead and create another class and I'm gonna kind of introduce you in the, um, slowly into the concept of an object here. So we're gonna come back to our command prompt, type in notepad box.java. And I think I'm gonna build on a box here throughout the future tutorials there, so. We're going to do our simple class box. And we could go ahead and save it and compile it this time, but you know what's going to happen there. We're going to build on it a little bit, right? So we know in the main class intro, we have this main method, but we can create methods, um, custom methods, anywhere we want to. So I'm going to do that. And void is basically what's called a return type. And I'm gonna go into a lot more detail on what a method is later on there, right? But um, just know that this is a method. Uh, maybe I'll put my little comment up here. Uh, the following is a method, and it um, it is also a member. You'll hear this term "member" quite often of this class. Now, I am going to the only thing this is going to do. It isn't really going to do much any here. It's just going to print line. You know what? And I'm going to do this. My box is an object, okay? And that is going to, that, so we're good to go there. So let's go ahead and save this. And then I'll explain this, why we're doing this later. We're going to come back to our command prompt. And we're going to type in Java C box. We're going to go ahead and compile that, right? 
So now if we do a directory, we have four files. We have our class intro dot Java, or, and then we have our compiled class intro, the byte code for class intro here. We've got our source code file for box.java, and then we have our compiled byte code for box here, okay? Um, we're gonna pop back to the notepad for the original one here, class intro. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you how to kind of create an object there. So we're gonna do box, my box. Sorry. And we are declaring a variable of type box. So this is really it. This really, it's similar to like, say for example, if we said like um, int a, right? Then we're just doing basically like data type and variable name, okay? It's, it's very similar to that right here. Our data type is going to be a type box and then the my box is going to be the variable name, okay? You could do this on, on one, one line, but I'm gonna go ahead and split it up. I think it'll make a little bit more sense on that. And then we're going to do uh, my box equals, and then this is the new keyword here. So the new keyword basically allocates what's a box object, okay? Then we have to use this sort of syntax where I have an opening and closing parenthesis. So we just allocated a box object. Now, um, so now my box is an object and we can access the box method display message now. So box has this one method in it called display message. All right, and I'm just gonna do uh, some cut and pasting here real quick from my website and that's off window here, just so I can you don't have to watch me type all this in here, but I really want this to be in here. Okay, so my box is now an object and we can access the box method display message. We use the dot operator to invoke the display message method. Uh, so the, basically the way this works is object dot member. So we know our object up here now is my box, right? So we'll type in my box and then dot, we want to access its display message method. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and save this out here. Come back to our command prompt. We're going to recompile the class intro. I'm going to clear the screen off here. Um, recompile the class intro source code file. Do a directory. Um, so now we have an updated bytecode for the class intro. We still have our box class bytecode up here and our source code there. Let's go ahead and clear this off. Let's type in Java class intro. Java, of course, is the command line tool for the JVM, Java Virtual Machine Office, known as the Java Runtime. Class intro is the name of the class that we are going to invoke, which is right here. Anytime we invoke a class after or use it in, using the Java runtime, it must have a main method. And when we do that, it goes ahead and executes everything inside of the code block top down, right? So first thing it does is it'll come in here and declare the variable type box, and then it'll allocate the box object. And now once our, our box object is allocated, we can take that object and we can access its members, or, and being one of its members is the display message method. So let's go ahead and, and run it. As you can see, it prints out my box is an object. So if we come back over to here to our box class, that's exactly what display message does. Does a simple display to the console, my box is an object. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out of this, close out of that, close out of this. I'm gonna leave you with some final thoughts on this one here. So I'm basically laying the foundation for understanding classes and objects in a very detailed manner. Um, in my next class-based tutorial, I will slowly and methodically build on the box class and introduce you to some new concepts and definitions. So 
Now, if you're confused at that t at this time, don't don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal to be, but um, you can watch the tutorial again, and it might make a little bit more sense. But as I continue to build on it, then you'll understand what a class is and how it defines an object, and that an object is basically an instance of a class. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.